Michael Kirshner here from Utah Sports. Alex, our big winner last week in hey. our NBA. Slow down, big winner. He won, by, he won by a game. Yeah, but he won 6 nothing. Cha-ching! All right, what are we going to do this week? Let's uh, let's all get involved. The whole great friends community getting involved in these gambling games that don't cost money on Utah Sports. We'll talk to Michael next. Hey, great friends, on a Thursday afternoon, we welcome back a guy who has become a total regular around here. And I'm, I got to say, I'm so impressed with the great friends who get involved in all of these things that we ask them to because we're just trying things out and having fun and doing things differently than we ever did on radio before. So along with me, hermano numero uno, grande Alejandro, and along with the man who's in the podcast shed bringing the street cred and eating the El Pollo grilled chicken, Big I, Brown. I, yeah. I, I, Michael Kirshner from Utah Sports is back here on Kaplan and Crew. What's up, Michael? Good afternoon, gentlemen. How are you? We're doing pretty good. Let me ask you a question before we get started. X. Um, how is Austin, Texas, a week later after last time we talked, you were uh, you guys frozen. were all frozen in? Yeah, pretty much back to normal. So it was two weeks ago when we were frozen in, and uh, – Last week was kind of a recovery week. I think there was still a water boil notice for a lot of the city. And this week, things are back to normal. I mean, it's crazy to think that two weeks ago on this day, it was about 20 degrees and just ice storm. And today it's about 75 degrees and sunny. So, um, yeah, Austin's going to Austin. But, you know, this is I, I tell people the best time of year in Austin are those shoulder seasons that spring and fall. Right. And, and this is the beginning, like March, April, May in this town is just magical. So yeah, uh, we're we're heading into some uh, good weather, and uh, things seem to be uh, turning back to normal. What is good weather in Austin? Well, good weather in Austin is probably what you guys get every day down by San Diego. But you know, seventies, sunny, little breeze, not no humidity. Um, which you know, come June, July, we'll start pushing nineties, hundreds, and then uh, yeah. When I was in Austin, it was in in July. And yeah. uh yeah, dude, it was like a hundred muggy, it's just sweat everywhere. Yeah. yeah. You know, the funny we don't get a lot of humidity. From time to time you'll get some humidity. Houston gets a ton of humidity. Austin's generally pretty dry once you get through like June, but every now and then you'll get a blast of humidity and that's brutal. Um, you know, the 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 challenge with Austin weather, I find, is that, all right, you kind of expect it July and August, but then when you're in September and it's 110 degrees, it's that's the tough. That's the tough. I always found it interesting here in San Diego that we would get to, like, October. I'd be doing an NFL football game down at Qualcomm Stadium when it used to exist, and um, it would be October, and it would be a 1 o'clock kickoff. And from 1 p.m. till about 4 p.m., it was so hot. Mm -hmm. on the north side of the stadium where the sun was and then it would cool down on the south side of the stadium where it would where it, the shade would happen but dude we'd get started in these games and i was like just blasted with heat and sun and um yeah it'd be october and that was like yeah. the hottest time i feel like yeah. our summer our summer like starts like labor day weekend it always seems to be really hot around that time and goes through october for whatever reason here yeah, get, I think I think this week, this summer would be great if we can get back out to the track some, you know, if we can start broadcasting. From I think it'll be open. Track. Well, they're definitely going to be open. They're definitely going to be doing, you know, I mean, horses will race. But here's the thing. If the Padres are going to get fans in the stands, if the Dodgers are, if the Giants are, Angels, um, if the governor is really preparing, like I've seen a lot of his press conferences, to find a way to get fans back into stadiums, then don't we think that maybe by July Del Mar opens, but certainly by like early November when the Breeders' Cup comes to San Diego and comes to Del Mar, I got to think we'll have fans back in the building by then. I think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think by then, by the Breeders' Cup, yeah, because California's vaccination rate is going really, really well. It's like one of the best in the country per capita. So I think by that time, I think a lot of things will be more relaxed. But July, I don't know. Hmm. Do you guys All see right. they vaccinated monkeys at the San Diego Zoo? No, why? 
I just brought it. I just like that's how well to, California's doing that. I guess that uh, monkeys can now be they had vaccinated. them extra shots, man. You can't <laughs> throw them shots away, so they just gave them to the monkeys. Now they developed a vaccine specifically for animals, and I guess they tried it out on like ten orangutans or something like that at the San Diego Zoo. Yeah. What, what do you guys, guys think? You guys think that there'll be fans in? You guys think Padres Padres games? You think you think they'll be able to sell every ticket by the end of the baseball season? Yes. By by early uh, by early September, first week of September, I think they will be able to do sellouts. Because you got to figure California and maybe New York will be the two last states right. that will go to one hundred percent. Right. You kind of get the sense that the Florida teams and maybe the Texas teams will be kind of at the forefront. Hell, Texas might be full tomorrow. Yeah, aren't you guys like one hundred percent operational now? So he just, uh, I think it takes effect next Wednesday where there's no longer a mask mandate, but uh, you're already seeing restaurants and sports teams. I think, I think all the sports teams are saying they're not changing anything. It's still going to require masks and they're not going to go to 100%. You know, we have a long time, we, we have a long time listener who's from Orange County who moved to Austin, Texas. His name is Aaron Martin, AJ Martin, one, two, three on Twitter. And he will send us videos from Austin where he's at like breweries on a Sunday afternoon and it's just packed with people, you know, and their kids are running around and, and people are just out having a great time. And uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like, like there is no COVID in Texas. I think the philosophy in Texas, and I'm not saying if it's right or wrong, but I think the philosophy in Texas is if it's outdoors, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> Regardless think, of what it is. <laughs> yes, I think that's kind of the Texas philosophy and who knows if that's right or wrong, but yeah, I mean, look, you know, my kids are playing sports outdoors, their parents, spectators. But then when things go indoors, uh, things get a little tighter. OK. All right. Michael Kirshner is uh, the co-founder of Uda Sports, U-D-D-A, like Uda Man. You can download their app. It's very easy to do. It's a really, really cool app. We have found that we love it. And the reason we love it so much is because the three of us are not gamblers necessarily. And the three of us are pretty much all too cheap to gamble. Alex started the uh, the show by talking about San Diego State last night that was favored by nine and a half points over UNLV. And late in the game, UNLV steals an inbound ball from San Diego State, hits a three-point shot. San Diego State now has a nine-point lead when there are nine and a half point favorites. There's 30 seconds to go in the game. San Diego State breaks the press, throws the ball down the floor, and has one of their bigs standing literally right underneath the basket where he can easily slam dunk the basketball and take an 11-point lead. Instead, throws the ball off the backboard, trying to do some kind of highlight sports center play where his teammate, terrible pass, and the guy didn't have the hops to get up and take it down. And so uh, San Diego State winds up winning by nine rather than the nine and a half when they could have easily, easily have dunked the ball and had an eleven point lead. So Michael, we're just, we're just, we're just afraid of the, the bets, man. We're trying that's to learn what, on you, to dude. That's where my father would say, "That's why you don't bet on sports." Right there, that's the, <laughs> that's the reason. Right there, right. That's the killer. Um, but listen, I mean, look, it makes it interesting. I think everybody's got. You will. Um, you know, it's like the uh, it's like rounders, right? You, you you don't you don't remember the the hands you won. You only remember the bad beats. You remember the sports bad beats. It's the same thing. You, you so many examples of backdoor touchdowns, meaningless last second basketball shots. Um, you know, there's so many examples of bad beats, and, and they're hard to forget. They're hard to get out of your mind. But the beauty of Utah is, you're betting on Utah. All you're losing is Utah bucks, right? It's you know, it's not, you're not losing your cash. Right. So I'm going into the app right now. And and if you're listening, let me say this. If you're driving around right now, cause you're listening on radio, don't do what I'm doing. But if you're at home or in your office and you're watching on YouTube or on Facebook, or if you're listening at, uh, you know, at your own convenience on any of the audio podcast platforms, then follow along. If you download the app, Uda, U-D-D-A, U-Demand, Uda Sports. Uh, okay, I'm looking at I'm looking at the app right now. What are we going to play this week, Michael? What are we going to do? Because because Alex is feeling pretty good about himself after last week's. Week. What's your before we get to today's? Uh, what's your bankroll now, Scott? Because I'm creeping up without cheating. I am. Uh, I've got three hundred six thousand Utah bucks. Okay, now I am. I am. I believe last week I was at fifty seven thousand. I am now at one hundred sixty one thousand after winning one of okay. those well, contests. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to spin the wheel right now. Nice. This is just this is just easy you to box. I mean, this is just easy bucks right here. 
The only problem is I only just got a hundred Uta bucks. The algorithm's working again. <laughs> <laughs> no. So first of all, um, Scott, congratulations to the Kaplan and crew, um, the Kaplan and crew team for last week. We had uh, three of the four of us finished in the money in the uh, in last week's NBA Pick Six. Uh, I believe it's the namesake of the program who did not finish in the money. Very true, but, Doctor. Uh, Browner, Alex, and I finished in the money last week. We got the same contest going tonight, so it's an NBA Pick Six. There are more than six games on the schedule, so you get your, your choice. You can pick any six games that are on the NBA schedule this uh, for tonight's slate. Uh, pick any six games. Um, you just got to pick uh, the winner against the spread, and you'll get a record. And I think last week the winner went. Did one of you go six and zero last week? I did. Alex did. I did. Yeah. Alex went six and zero, and Browner and I went five and one. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, I came on the air on Friday. Friday and accused you of of forging your results because every single contest you are on the leaderboard. You're either really good at gambling or you're, <laughs> or you're forging this stuff, man. <laughs> the funny thing is, the funny thing is I, I got to like hockey, forget hockey. I'm, I don't know much about hockey out of the f- other three major sports basketball, just from NBA basketball is probably the least amount of knowledge I have, but I have a good feel for kind of lines and how to pick against lines. And I have a good kind of sense for sports wagering. Um, but I think that's, that's part of the strategy and part having a good knowledge base of the sport is a good strategy, but we went through our picks last week. So, yes, you we know, did. I went five. Yes, one. we did. Yes, we did. And I think it's, uh, the key for me. And I know, like you said, you only got to pick six here. It's just don't overthink it. Just if that sounds right to you, do it. Yeah. And that's, that's right. I mean, don't, don't second guess yourself. This is supposed to be for fun. Uh, it's good practice if you're ever going to go out and actually, uh, you know, bet on sports for real money, but just, uh, you know, enjoy it, make your picks, see how you do. All right. Let's just explain to everybody how to do this because I want everybody who's, who's watching, it'll be easy for you. For those of you that are listening, just kind of work with us here. You've downloaded the Uta app. You're on the uh, front page of Uta upper left corner. You've got your account name. You've got your available Uta bucks. It tells you how many bets you're, you've got going, uh, how many contests you might be in. There's opportunities to refer friends, which gives you a chance to, to earn extra Uta bucks. There's video tutorials if you want to see how to best use the platform. And they've made it really, really uh, easy for you to use. And I say it like that because if you're not a gambler, when you come here, all the numbers and the games, and it can be overwhelming if this is your first time looking at this stuff. For those that are gamblers, they look at this and they go, yeah, this is, what, this is what we look at. It'd be like if you went to the racetrack and you picked up the racing form and you were trying to read through the numbers to handicap a race and you're like, what do all these numbers mean? So don't let it overwhelm you. But Michael, tell everybody where they should go once they're on the homepage here. Okay, and I'm holding up my phone to the camera yeah. like as if everybody can see it. But once you're on the homepage here, where should everybody go to get involved in our contest? Yep, so upper right-hand corner and lower right-hand corner. Um, but for this one, the upper right-hand corner, just click on contests. Okay, uh, these, are, these are public contests. You're going to see what's available. You click on the NBA pick six. Okay. Uh, then, you, then you join that contest. So you click on join live. Uh, then you click on NBA pick six again. And uh, uh, you're going to be able I'm, to make I'm, your picks. Wait, I'm following now. Uh, would you like to join? Yes. Okay, I would. Okay, Yuda has added a $1,000 incentive amount to your bankroll. Thank you, Yuda. Appreciate that. And now what do I do? Go to join live contest since you've entered it. Um, okay, hold on. I got it sometimes. Okay, joined live. Okay, got it. Okay, I'm in. And then you see it, and then you're just going to get the whole slate of games. Okay. And uh, you're going to be able to make your picks. Okay, so uh, okay, so we got to pick, pick six. Six games tonight. Any six of these games tonight you can pick. Uh, and remember, this is this is this is one of the things that we're ha- actually having a, a hard time communicating is that you have to pick six. You mm-hmm. can't pick five. Mm-hmm. Can't pick. It won't let you pick more than six, but you have to pick six. If you don't pick six, you're not eligible. Um, okay. All right. I am picking a couple of games here right now. I'm uh, feeling pretty good about my picks. Um, okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, Okay, Sacramento beat the Lakers last night. I think they'll get pounded by Portland tonight. Um, wow, Phoenix is an 11 and a half point favorite over Golden State. Who's not playing? Is like Steph not playing tonight or something? Is that yeah, the deal? I, 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 I picked, I went straight to Golden State. 
Yeah. That line yeah. seemed weird to me, but it you I'm not sure what's going on, but it just right, seemed very strange. One, two, three, four, five. I've only picked five games. Browner, give me your best play of the night. I would tell everybody right now, watch out for the injuries. Watch out for the injuries. We're very close to all-star break, almost too close to even all. I think all these are toss-ups 100% because we're too close to the all-star break for any of these, any of the, any of our bets to be like real definites. But I will say this. <clears throat> I think Denver's going to beat Indiana. Indiana yeah, is really struggling right now. And Denver, Jokic is playing out of his mind going into the break. He just did 40 against Chicago, did 40 against Milwaukee. And I don't see why he wouldn't do 40 against the bonus and Miles Turner. Miles Turner leads the NBA in blocks, but Jokic is too big, too big, too skilled. You can't speed him up, and he's been playing great. So I would say Denver over Indiana. Okay, that would be the, the one thing I would be that, – that's the certain. Okay. I already took that one, though. Well, you asked. I told you. That's what I think. I got Washington tonight plus five and a half over the Clippers. I got wow. Denver minus four and a half over the Pacers. I got Milwaukee minus six against Memphis. I got Portland minus four and a half against Sacramento. And I've got Golden State plus 11 and a half against Phoenix. I need one more game here. Alex, that's not got? a good bet. That's Which one? not a good bet. Which one? Phoenix and Phoenix and Golden State. Golden State just lost last night against uh, Portland. And the Suns are coming off of a big win against the Lakers, so I, I, uh, I think that's a, I think Golden State, and I think that's a trap game. Mm, Eleven and a half points, a lot of points. Wow. It's a lot. That's too many points. Um, I'll just I'll tell you my six real quick. Um, I was struggling to find a six game, but here's the six that I took. I took the Raptors plus eight uh, against the Celtics. I took the Wizards plus five and a half against the Clippers. One, two, three, Cancun on that one. They're ready to go. Uh, I took the Bucks minus six over the Grizzlies. Uh, I think Miami is the easiest play against the Pelicans. They're, they gave them two and a half points. I think Miami wins that game. Uh, I took the Blazers minus four and a half over the Kings. I think they're going to crush them tonight. And I also took the Warriors because anytime I see an 11 and a half, I just got to take it. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm opposite you guys a lot. I got Toronto plus eight. I took the Pacers plus four and a half at home. I took the Grizzlies plus six at home. Got New Orleans minus two and a half at home. San Antonio minus six and a half at home. And then Golden State. I love, uh, I think one thing about, it's a very basic strategy, but um, home underdogs are generally um, a good place to be. Even in, I, even in COVID, like, is that, that, is that, is that still a thing? You know, that's, you know, it's a, it's a great point. I don't. It depends I, on what I state. Because New Orleans has fans. It's also a travel thing. It's also sleeping in your own bed. I think there's like more the Lakers are terrible fans, at home this but, year. Yeah. But but how often spread. have they been? Spread. How often have they been underdogs? Right, right. That's a good point. I also I also think I think the Pelicans are going to do great tonight against Miami. I think for, for whatever reason Miami has been off this entire first half. Jimmy Butler was hurt to start the season. Zion's been amazing in the paint. Uh, Steven Adams, is, it's probably going to neutralize Bam from a post standpoint. Um, so I don't, I, I like Brandon Ingram. Lonzo Ball's been great. JJ Reddick's been JJ Reddick. So I, I, I like what they're doing. So I, 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 I like the Pelicans, man. I like the Pelicans tonight. All right. Well, Michael Kirshner from Utah Sports. One more time, Michael. Let's get everybody onto the app and tell everybody where to go. And then yep. let's see how everybody does. So to, to enter any one of these contests, go on the app, upper right hand corner, click on contests. Uh, these are uh, public contests. We also have free to play contests. So always check on uh, the free, always check what's uh, available free to play. I believe this NBA pick six contest, it costs you 2,500 Uta bucks to enter. We sign up for Uta. We're going to give you 10,000. You can spin the wheel to earn more. You can refer friends to earn more. Lots of ways to earn free Uta bucks. If you ever run out and you don't have any opportunity to get free Uta bucks, you can always purchase them on the app store. It starts at $2.99. Uh, we'll have lots of contests these upcoming weeks. We're going to do a lot around the uh, conference tournaments, basketball conference tournaments. We'll do a lot around NCAA March Madness. We'll have all sorts of daily, um, you know, multi-day contests. We'll do, um, you know, we'll do contests around uh, conference tournaments, both uh, on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, throughout the entire uh, tournament. So just keep an eye on, keep checking for uh, contests. And then, um, if you don't want to bet contests, just go ahead and bet in our sports book. Just like a traditional sports book, you can bet 
your Utah Bucks um, over unders against the spread or money lines, and uh, you know just have fun with it. And, and please, if if anybody has any suggestions, your 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 listeners have been so tremendous in reaching out to us and giving us suggestions or things that we could look at doing differently or asking questions. And uh, you know we're still very early stage, and you guys have been just tremendous in helping us grow this thing and making it better. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. This audience has helped now build Utah. It's helping continue to build Sided. And so, you know, I, I had a recently, I'll leave you with this. I had a call with a guy in New York and I sent him a, a, somebody a recommendation. You should meet with this guy. And I sent him another one. You should meet with this guy. And he wrote me back and he said, do you have any friends that don't have apps? And I'm like, Hey, listen, pal, <laughs> this is California. You know, this is, this is the tech capital, you know, and don't tell me about Silicon Valley, San Diego and LA got plenty themselves. Yeah. So it's a great app and we're happy to be uh, working with you guys. Hey, Michael, we'll talk to you next week, man. Appreciate you, buddy. I can't believe you two guys.